All right, greetings, beautiful people. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the diet once again. Uh, this is not a diet channel, all right? And um, don't wanna make it a diet channel, but I'm gonna answer a couple questions that I was asked about diet. And, um, you know, this is actually a big step in, uh, you know, progress and advancements in, uh, you know, in this journey that you're partaking in, okay? Because here's the thing. There, there's, there's, there's levels of toxicity that, for example, People demonize certain things, but certain things that people demonize are actually useful to some extent at certain moments. So, for example, let's say when you do a cleanse, you use turpentine. You can use alcohol, right? Because when you when you have a cut, you put alcohol on it, right, to kill infections. So, when you're cleansing or if you want to use certain spirits because they call alcohol spirits, if you want to drink something that's a spirit and it's alcohol, it's going to help in a cleansing to some extent. But you would have to know and manage what it is that you're putting into your body and have a clear intent, all right? Because if there's no clear intent behind it, all right, you're mindlessly doing shit and whatever unconscious actions and thoughts and decisions you're taking during that process, that's you unconsciously consenting, but you're consenting. It doesn't matter if it's conscious or unconscious, you're still consenting to it, all right? Now, when it comes to food, all right? Everybody's already to begin with in a low vibrational state when you're not aware of self and when you do dumb shit um, You know every day you're creating but you create unconsciously and if you're partaking in this journey particularly Raising your vibration can literally un Unblock certain energies that you have all right when you when you raise the vibration in your body It's kind of like the body literally like you know when, when you have a fever and infection What does the body do it generates energy to bring up? Uh, the heat to burn off or kill off any infections in the body. All right, we're doing this all the time because we're overeating or we're eating things that we're not supposed to be doing. All right, so when you fast, you see people think that eating gives them energy, but in reality, when you fast, you're gaining energy because now the body is not working hard to break down food or dense foods that is not supposed to be in the body to begin with. All right, there's also uh, certain, you know, I made a video on alien invasions. Okay. Uh, Area 51, the true technology. Check those videos out. It'll explain what I'm talking about when it comes to parasites. You know, that's the invasion that 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 took over the body and is taking over your mentality. So, in order for you to be able to properly work with energies and spirits when it comes in the form of food or programming your food, I'm going to talk about that in a second. You would have to first clear out the infestation that you have. All right, because here's the thing. In like, for example, in your garden, you can have beneficial insects or you can have parasitic insects that are terrible they'll, they'll kill the beneficial insects plus kill your plants okay so what would you have to do you would have to like literally destroy the entire garden clean it on and then repopulate it with the right microbes and then you have the beneficial bacteria but there's always going to be the bad pests in there they create the balance because like i mentioned in a previous video they actually eat the fucking leaves and they'll they'll, they'll make certain fucking like leaves or stems die off but that's actually making the trunk stronger all right, this is the reason why people prune plants. All right, now, yeah, you went through this process where you're all fucked up now, but then now you're in a repair process. The repair pro process is going to take discipline, all right, and deprogramming. You see, I was told that, oh, I'm trying to, you know, eat cleaner, meaning like, uh, you know, get rid of animal products to, you know, raise my vibration, but I'm losing a lot of weight. You see, the programming is making you think that losing that weight is bad when it's actually not. See, in order for you to build, you have to go through a catabolic process before you can even do an anabolic process. A lot of people want to go through an anabolic process, having all this, you know, garbage inside of them. And it's what, what's going to happen is your body's going to require more of you when in reality, when you clean, it, it'll take less to build more, okay? Because you're not sharing your nutrients with foreign invaders that you put in there. You bought the alien invasion into your space, into your universe, okay? Invading your planets, your liver, your kidneys, your heart, your brain, because they're all, they took over. They took over. And when they conquer, they divide. So what happens? You have no connection between your organs, your heart, your stomach, nothing. So you have no way of telling, you know, your thoughts from exterior thoughts or energies from like, you know, subtle energies. You won't even be able to tell downloads, you know, you know, things that, that benefit you. You won't even be able to tell. The only things that you could feel are probably like stimulants from alcohol and coffee because they're strong stimulants. But when you're truly clean, you'll even feel the subtle sensations of just eating an apple. Okay. 
just eating an apple. And yeah, fruits are GMO because the people are going to be like, oh yeah, but fruits are... Okay, so GMO means genetically modified. That means that they actually took genes and spliced different genetic codes together, okay? But you know what? When you're clean, you can de decipher between each one of those strands and, and not get confused and lost into, the, into you know, whatever you're intaking in your body. Okay, because it's it's kind of like if you're if I'm at home and I invite one guest in my house or if I invite three Right, but when I invite three and I'm aware and I speak to them I'm aware of each one of their personalities I'm aware if one looks fucking crazy if the other one is a nice person or if the other one looks fucking like they're, they're about to rob me You know what I'm saying? Those are important things to really take into account But let's say for example, I invite those three people in my house, right? And my door is open and I just let and now a bunch of people are coming into my house, right? Now, I can't fully pay attention to the three people that I originally invited because all these people are around my house and I can't tell what the fuck they're going to do because now my attention is everywhere. Not only is that killing my energy because energy flows where attention goes, but now I'm actually like, you know, trying to figure out what each individual's intent is behind the fact that they're coming into my home. So do you realize that ingestion is in guest, guest, you're inviting a guest into your house, diet is deity, if you follow a certain diet, you're subscribing to a certain deity, alright, I never invited the deity of vegan, veganism, I never invited, I never in invented veganism, and there's, a, a, you see, you can look at veganism, good and bad, or favorable and unfavorable, and the reason why is because, yeah, they don't consent to killing animals, they don't, you know, they don't eat animal products, but they're eating plastic, right, so now you would have to properly guide this vegan person to eat the right shit because it has nothing to do with because you're not eating animal products, you're necessarily eating the right stuff. Because there's people who will still be attached to like, you know, meat to some extent because they're eating fucking vegan burgers or vegan sausages. Do you even know what ingredients are in those fucking vegan burgers and vegan sausages? I'd rather just eat the fucking bullshit as real meat and real sausage. Because if you look at the ingredients, not only will they kill your, your testosterone, but there's like a, to make that vegan sausage and, and, and vegan burger, it, it's like a book of ingredients that you cannot even pronounce. It was all made in a laboratory. They're not real food. It is not real food. You get what I'm saying? It's not food. So what kind of information can you get from that kind of food? You get what I'm saying? Now, some people think that losing weight is bad. It is not bad. You know what I mean? Less is more sometimes. You're actually less heavy. You're less weighed down and anchored to this to this realm of reality. Here's the thing. Some people, okay, will lose weight, get more cut, right? And that would actually give them the illusion that they look bigger. But then some people are bigger, heavier, and they look smaller than the leaner person. And not only that, but all this fucking separation between it's even in the fitness industry. Because you look at bodybuilders are, you know, they, 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 they look down on like the physique bodybuilders. And then you got physique bodybuilders that look down on, or bodybuilding will look down on CrossFit. You know what I mean? Or you got like, you know what I mean? Like it's always like a fucking polarization. Everything's all fucking separation. You get what I'm saying? You're in the fitness industry. You're all doing the same fucking shit, just different ways. You know what I mean? Like if everybody was doing the same shit, like that shit would be fucking whack. It's better that there's a variety of things. All right. Look at even in sports. In sports, you got fucking MMA and boxing are like feuding with each other. But then you also have fake wrestling feuding with UFC. Why the fuck would even fake wrestling be feuding with UFC when fake wrestling is fake? But you know what? Because UFC talks about, oh, you know, this is real and, and the other shit is script. But you know what? I've been following fucking fake wrestling my entire life. And I'll tell you right now, don't get it twisted. You think that fake wrestling is fucking not hardcore. That shit is fucking crazy. Like these motherfuckers put their body through some crazy ass pain. Yeah, the the fucking storyline is scripted, but the moves. I mean, can you fucking like really fake? And you gotta like really make this shit look real to the crowd. Like you're gonna get hit with chairs. You're gonna get put through a table. You gotta have a certain level of, of athleticism, charisma. Okay, and you know what? The charisma had to merge into UFC. Look what happened with... Con How did Conor McGregor get so big? Because of his charisma. Because in UFC, there was no charismatic characters until Conor McGregor came out. So he kind of brought an aspect of fake wrestling into UFC. So do you see how all this shit can actually work together? This is why I'm not with, oh, white people versus black people and all that bullshit. Because I already mentioned that black people and, and, and white people, it, it looks to me like a feminine and masculine energy. When you have those two, you can make a perfect creation together. All right? One without the other is still in balance. A man has a certain level of testosterone, but he also has a certain level of estrogen. If not, he'd be chemically imbalanced and he wouldn't even be 
fucking uh, 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 homeostasis or healthy human being. Same thing with a woman. She still has a certain level of testosterone. See, we alter that whole shit because I've seen girls even take fucking testosterone. How do you think they get, they get all jacked up? All right. And then guys, right, they'll alter and, and raise and they, they'll, they'll put the synthetic testosterone in their body and, ra and, and raise their testosterone levels. Right. But what that does is it, it, it messes up the natural chemistry of the body. So now the body's endocrine system shuts down and they have no testosterone. Right. So this is why here's the thing. Knowledge is very important because from the knowledge, now you can start to utilize it as a tool. And from the tools, now you start to create your own wisdom behind shit because the wisdom comes from you utilizing your own creations behind shit. So I utilize knowledge. Then I'll tap, I'll, I'll tap within, which is meditating. Okay. And I start to get these downloads, but don't think these downloads come easy if your body's fucking toxic. I'll tell you that right now. Right. And the reason why you need to maintain sober, Okay, because you're always under influences. You're under influences when you listen to information. You're under influences when you see things. You're under influences when you're fucking eating, of course. Any kind of food. It doesn't have to be. Why do you think when you drink alcohol, they say you're under the influence? Alcohol spirits, right? Because you're under an influence. But you can use influences to your advantage. That's the thing. See, you have to be sober in order for you to know what that influence is trying to be utilized for. Because if not, then you'll lose control. Then you're under the influence. Okay, but here's the thing though If you, for example Are going to eat certain foods Like for example, an apple You're under an influence of an energy Because you're still inviting a certain energy into your body Grapes, same thing You can eat the smallest thing It's still inviting a, 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 the smallest guest into your body Alright So this is why fasting What it does is it disconnects all the parasites from your body Because the, the same way your body's hardwired together To this illusionary reality Okay, time, space, fucking mind, body, spirit, everything's hardwired. The parasites are hardwired there too. So now you would have to disconnect them. And the way to disconnect them is proper breathing and fasting. You disconnect so they disconnect. Okay, you keep them connected by giving them what they want. Okay, you have to train your body. You train your body in the gym. You train your body by also conditioning it. Okay, because see all these emotions you get is a condition as well. Don't think it's just an emotion, it's a condition. But it's a condition that's not really, uh, 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 the reason it's a condition is because most of the time it's not. That's why they say, do you have thoughts or do thoughts have you? All right? You have to like untangle yourself. And it starts from within. Okay? You untangle yourself. And everything else outside of you will start untangling too. But don't think that, you know, uh, eating meat is bad or anything like that. Because there has to be a balance. I wouldn't recommend you eating meat. I'll tell you that right now. I don't recommend you eating meat. I stand behind that. But there's nothing wrong with it. The reason I say that is because there's no wrong or right. Everything is allowed. There's just going to be a cause and effect. Okay? There's going to be a cause and effect. See, once you clear the, 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 your system of these parasites, you're not even going to want to eat meat anymore. Matter of fact, you couldn't even be able to eat meat because when you eat meat, it won't even digest properly. Why? Because these fucking worms were the ones that... You see, this meat... Don't think that... You see, your stomach is very, 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 very long. So by the time it gets through your whole entire digestive tract, some of this shit ends up getting stored. Some of this shit starts rotting in there. That's why you, 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 know, you have like 10 pounds of rotten meat in your colon. All right? So what ends up happening here is, is this. Is that you have these parasites and worms that are actually helping you break down that fucking rotting disgusting shit that's in your stomach. It's the same thing like I made the example with a compost bed, okay? A, a, a compost bed, you throw in food scraps in there. You throw in, sh you know, pretty much like waste, garbage that, that you don't really, you don't eat, all right? Food scraps. And it's broken down by these red wigglers, all right? Earthworms, all the health, all these different microbes, all right? Even ants, all right, so they all help, they all contribute to help break this down. But what happens if all these insects and microbes weren't in there? What would happen, right? It would either take a lot longer or the food would, would just rot there, all right? And it would it would end up stinking. But what happens is that these earthworms, they eat this, this organic matter, these food scraps, and then they poop. And that poop doesn't smell like rot and it doesn't smell like shit. It just smells like like earth, like dirt, like like. It's it's fucking black gold. It's a gardener's fucking paradise when you see red wigglers. In my yard, in my garden, there's a, a you could dig anywhere in the ground, but I bury all my fucking food scraps. So all the food that I'm growing has a lot of beneficial nutrients in the fruit, right? 
So there's also a saying where they say, oh, you know, fruits aren't really as healthy as, as people claim to be. The, there's no minerals in there because the, the soil is mineral depleted. I'm going to tell you what's going on here. If your body is dirty, okay, you're not going to absorb minerals. This is why they say this. See, it, this is why you really need to really do some research. And, and this is the reason why. What can your body absorb if the, if the intestinal walls of your stomach are all fucked up? Everybody's B12 deficient. Do you know that B12 is not even a vitamin? It's a fucking bacteria. And it's all based on the intrinsic factor in your stomach. All right? It, that's what it is. And this intrinsic factor is restored when you stop eating animal product and when you stop eating so much f f garbage that your body is not supposed to be ingesting. All right? Because you can actually have... Like people literally take 15 to 2,500 micrograms of B12 a day. Do you know that your body can recycle, I think, five micrograms and it stays in your system for six months? It's a bacteria. They say, oh, well, that's why I eat animal because it's in the animal meat. The animal got it from the fucking grass. That bacteria, that B12 comes from the greens and then they're eating it. Okay. And this is why it's in their system. But the moment that you go and eat the animal, all right, yeah, there's B12 in there, but go cook the meat. What ends up happening to all the, the vitamins or whatever nutrients you think is in that meat? It's denatured, just like the protein. But aside from that too, here's what's going on. Just the fact that you're putting in that heavy, dense matter in your stomach, it destroys the intrinsic factor. So regardless if you're putting the B12 in there, it's still not going to fucking work. You're fucking up the body's natural chemistry. See, we always try to go for the middleman instead of going to the source. Like, for example, even omegas. People think that they're getting omegas from fish. You need to cook fish. First of all, fish is one of the most parasitic animals on the planet. If you're going to eat fish. Not only that, but there's a lot of mercury. Hold on a second. I'm, 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 hold on. Hold on a second. Give me a second. I'm almost done. And, um, sorry, but that was my son. And, you know, I'll be with him in a second. But, you know, the parasites, for there, there's a lot of parasites in the, in the fish, all right? Especially when you're eating sushi or sashimi, which is raw. But even when you cook it, there's still going to be fucking parasites in there. And here's the problem, though. You cook fish in oil, right? It doesn't matter what oil you cook it in. But when you cook in oil, those omega-3s get converted to omega-6. And those are actually, you see, the reason you, you try to intake omega-3 is to actually minimize inflammation. The, the, the order should be you should take omega-3, 6, 9. That's the order it should be in. But we're more omega-6 uh, driven than we are omega-3s. Because you guys are eating meat, fish, uh, you know, nuts. All that is omega-6 because they're roasted. Now, when you look at this, you want to take the omega-3s. Why don't you just go straight to the source? Why don't you eliminate the middleman? See, the reason fish are high in omega-3s is because of the sea algae. Sea moss, all these fucking rich as minerals. You can fast, and if you take these proper minerals, you will never be malnutritious. I mean, after you dead ass fast from everything, like you should do an initial fast where you take nothing but water and living waters, your living waters. I'll make a separate video on that, all right? But it's very important for you to realize this. You're not gonna absorb any kind of nutrients if your body is dirty. See, we go to the middleman for everything. Even for knowledge. Here's the funny part. Go to the source, which is you. But instead, you want to look outside of yourself. Everything outside of you, you want to look at the knowledge. The knowledge is good to get outside of you. But use it as a guide. And then tap within to gain the wisdom from it. Okay? Because you see, everybody says, oh, nothing outside of me, outside of me matters. Yes, it does. Because... Those people, places, and things are a reflection of you. So they're teaching you a lesson to know what you need to connect dots to, to tap into self and gain proper wisdom from that. Okay? But having control of not putting a belief or a blockage in your system on it. In formation. But don't let it form your nation. You have to be able to take control and know what to properly digest and what to expel out of your system. You eat food. You need to have proper digestion. You shit out the waste and you take in nutrients, right? But you got to clear the parasites because they're the ones taking the nutrients. Same thing with the information you take. When you when you take information in, all right, you are eating, you're still eating, but you got to know 
what to let digest in your system and what to let out. Because if you form information to form your nation, you're forming a belief system in there is equivalent to you creating a blockage in your system and not being able to take a shit. What happens when you can't take a shit? It shit feels terrible, right? Same thing with your sight. See, don't think that these sensors are not hurting you if you're not using them properly. Because that, why do you think there's such a thing as color therapy, aromatherapy, sound by neural beats therapy, right? Massages, sensational therapy, right? But how many times do we utilize that to our advantage? What we do is we look at pornography or look at fucking news media. We listen to garbage, fucking drama on YouTube. Set messages of separation You should fucking have your spidey senses up by now If you're at this level You see we're in 2019 2020 is around the corner Okay Not this, And 2020 is already here And I'm going to make a video on 5G next Because there's a lot to that And there's a lot behind it Okay Don't Listen You're an empowered Super powerful superhero Everything is used as a tool Okay See, I look at uh, the, the movies, right? For example, if you look at Thor, right? Thor is powerful, but how much more powerful is he when he has his hammer? Okay? Iron Man. What's Iron Man if he doesn't have his suit? Right? What is Captain America without his shield? He needed his shield. Spider-Man. He has the powers, but doesn't... He puts the, the, the Spidey suit on, right? You gotta hide an identity, right? You have Thanos. How much more powerful was he when he gained the gauntlet uh, glove? Right? Utilize things to your advantage. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Work on your weaknesses. Empower others with your strengths. You watch how your galaxy and universe is going to fucking expand like a motherfucker. You either expand with the universe or you get left behind. Alright? Don't think that there's diets and shit that's going to fucking help you. Okay, it's not. It's you got to change your mind. Change your mind. The diets are used to your advantage. You don't subscribe to a diet. You just utilize it to your advantage. Just don't eat shit that doesn't belong in your body so you don't create your own limitations because the only limitation you have is the limitation you set on yourself. That's the only limitation you have and you set it on yourself through lack of awareness and lack of knowledge of certain things. You understand? Everything is a reflection. You don't think that because let's say I've been I made a video on like the, the the reflection in melanin. All right, they'll demonize like certain people will demonize like you know like I said white people and other people. I'm not with that man because at the end of the day it's it's you can be you could be the black person if you want. You could be the white person. You could be the Chinese person. You could be whoever the fuck you want. It's all in your mind. It's a mind game. If you don't believe that, then you're limited. You're limited.